this demonstration, we will see how Manifold System utilizes NVIDIA CUDA technology to accelerate the speed of a GIS task from taking one minute without CUDA to only two seconds using CUDA. The CUDA interface allows programmers to upload general purpose GIS functions into an NVIDIA GPU for execution at supercomputer speed using the massively parallel architecture of the GPU. Let's take a look at a live manifold demonstration. Here we have a surface, the Montero Mountain surface, just south of uh, San Francisco. And uh, first we're going to uh, look at the options in the Tools Options Miscellaneous dialog to, to see that the Use GP GPU Technologies NVIDIA CUDA option is turned off. If we look into the Help About dialog, we can see that Manifold does not detect an NVIDIA CUDA card in the system when uh, that option is turned off. See, it says Graphics Only. Running, by the way, if you're in 64-bit mode on a Windows Server 2008. We're now going to open up the Surface Transform dialog and compute the slope of the surface using a 5x5 five five matrix. We're going to save the result to a new component. It's going to take a while once we click OK. So there we go. We've just clicked OK, and Manifold swings into action. We know from doing this before that it's going to take about 59 seconds, about one minute, to do this calculation. It's actually astonishingly quickly, probably at least five or six times faster than just about any other system could, could perform this computation, because we are running in 64 bits on Windows Server 2008 x64, which is a very fast operating system, the fastest Windows operating system yet. And we're working on a machine that has 8 megabytes of RAM, excuse me, 8 gigabytes of RAM. Still going. It's taking about 32 seconds so far. We've turned on logging so that the final result will be logged in the history pane we see to the right of the display. So when this finally computes, it'll tell us exactly how long Manifold took to calculate this 5x5 five five matrix. 46 seconds. It's still taking a while. Actually, the fact that we can even do a computation like this is amazing on a desktop machine. It used to take a true supercomputer to do such things. There we go. Got done and it took us exactly 59.566 seconds. We can highlight it there to see. And what it created was a new surface called S2. We can open that up. And uh, what this surface shows is the slope at each pixel. It's kind of a dumb palette we use there, but nonetheless, it's functional. Let's get rid of that surface, and we're going to repeat the computation from the beginning. Only this time, we're going to turn on the Tools Options Miscellaneous option to turn on the Use and GP GPU Technologies option. So at this time, the computation will be performed with NVIDIA CUDA. If we go back into the Help About dialog, we'll see that Manifold reports that it has now found an NVIDIA CUDA device, one device. This particular device is a 256 processor CUDA card that costs about $450. Back in Surface Transform dialog, we click OK. Ready, set. Go. 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000. Ah, it's done. With CUDA, the surface transform computation took only 2 seconds, 2.054 seconds. We can open up the surface and we can see that it is indeed the new surface was computed just like the old surface. This is a case where the use of CUDA and the use of a card that only costs uh, about $450 increased the performance of the computation dramatically.